allow me to share with you the expectations of a real estate career, the pros and the cons. All right, let's start off with the pros. Let's start off with the income potential. Now, this is probably the biggest benefit for a real estate agent and why most people join a career in real estate because of the income potential. Now, let's stop there for a second, all right? Let's just stop there. Let's push pause and let's talk about this for a split second. Income potential in real estate is, is unlimited, meaning you get out of it what you put into it. It's as simple as that. Quotes, bold, you get out of it what you put into it, all right? Now, a lot of you are out there making 30, 40, 50, 60,000 dollars and you've been doing that for the last several years and you're okay with that. This career in real estate can change that substantially. How about doubling that? How about tripling what you're making now? It's completely possible. Again, you have to work your tail off, right? It just doesn't fall on your lap. There's certain things you have to do. You have to have, you have that self-discipline. You have to have that self-motivation. You have to have the right brokerage. You have to have that, you know, the, the training. It, 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 you wrap all that into one and magic happens, man. Magic happens. So the income potential is there. Never ever having to worry about where your next paycheck is coming from. Because when you kill that first deal, meaning when you, when you knock it out, meaning when you close your first transaction, when that first escrow is over and out, finito, and you're handed that paycheck, it's pretty damn handsome. Most paychecks in real estate, most commissions in real estate are pretty damn handsome. They're beautiful. Probably something you'd never expect. Let me share something with you. When I first was handed my first commission check and I looked at the, those numbers, I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my God, it was a complete surprise. It was a complete shock because I've never held so much money in my hand. The value of this business is amazing. And you have the possibility, the potential, the opportunity to take part in it. All right, let's go to the next one. Another pro that I wanna share with you is of course the pro of the flexibility with the schedule. Oh, I love that word, flexibility. Flexibility. The flexibility to do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. Flexibility. If you have children, you'll never miss a recital again. If you have children, you'll never miss their baseball game again. If you wanna take your kid out to a movie because it's their birthday, go for it, you're the boss. Your schedule is determined by who? Yeah, you. You determine your schedule. Come on, man, this, that's beautiful. That almost gives me goosebumps with it, you know, having a flexible schedule. You know what, I think I'll call in sick today. Call in sick to who? To me. I control the schedule, the flexibility. I think I'm gonna take a trip, a cruise. And I wanna take three weeks off. I wanna take three weeks off, go for it. You have the right to do so. The flexibility is completely, completely up to you. You wanna work your tail off and work seven days a week, 24 hours a day, go for it. I have a heart attack. You want to relax and have a nice balanced schedule? A nice balanced schedule? Go for it. You determine what's best for you. We're all different. Some of us are workaholics. Some of us aren't. Some of us are smart. And we use our time wisely. Some of us tend to waste time. We all are different. Another pro is that you are now an entrepreneur. Whoa, what the hell does that mean? An entrepreneur? You now own the business. You now own your own goddamn business. Ain't that beautiful? You get to work from home if you want. You're the boss. You're the boss, man. You are the owner of your own little company. You get to allow certain professionals in and you get to say, you know what? I don't want to work with you. You're the boss. An entrepreneur that gets to decide what's best for your company. You get to decide the colors of your logo. You get to decide the company you work with. You get to decide clients that you want to accept, you get to decide, I don't want to work with this client. You get to decide, decide, decide. You're the entrepreneur. You get to devise a game plan for your business. That's amazing. You'll never have anybody looking over your shoulder again. Maybe your spouse saying, hey, what the hell are you doing, huh? Go out and make some money. But aside from that, man, you'll have no boss over you. Another reason why I enjoyed this career is uh, because it's a people business. And if you like people, you're going to love this career. That's a great pro. You know, this, this, profession was built on people. Without people, there is no real estate career. We need people to make it happen. People own houses and we need houses to sell. You with me? We need people to make this happen. So if you love people, this is the right career for you. It's, it's wonderful how we have the opportunity to put people in houses, to put people in houses who thought they could never purchase property. It's pretty amazing as to what you do with these, 
with these individuals, with these families, with these investors, people who are looking for you, people who are looking at you to change their life. They're going to make the biggest investment of their life and they're putting you in the middle of it all. Wow. Talk about stress. Talk about pressure on you as a real estate agent. Go for it. It's a people business. Polish your people skills. The most underrated pro on the list is probably going to be that this career is extremely rewarding. Now, what do I mean by rewarding? Listen, as we discussed earlier, you're going to work with a lot of people, a lot of different people. And you're going to put them in positions that are a lot better than where they were before they met you. You're going to have a seller and you're going to sell their home and put them where they want to be. You're going to have a, you're going to have a buyer who's going to buy their first house and be extremely ecstatic because you put them in that first house. You're going to have an investor who's going to invest in some income property and probably has never done so before. And you've given them that opportunity as a real estate agent. That's, that's fantastic. It's rewarding knowing that after you close an escrow, everybody's extremely happy. You've put them all in that place, in that happy place. It's all because of you. You've opened the escrow, you ran it and babysat that escrow, and you put them where they need to be, whether it be a next house, their first house, or their first income property. It's all because of you. It's rewarding to see that smile on their face. It's rewarding to see them thanking you and saying, you know what, if it weren't for you, I don't know if I could do this. So, is this a very lucrative career? Is it gonna be a very, a very uh, exciting career? Are there, very, are there a lot of pros? Are there a lot of pros in this career? Absolutely, I just gave you a list of, as to why you should definitely get that real estate license and get off and running as fast as you can. Now let's go into the cons. Now there are some cons. Now what are they? Ready? Here it goes. So some cons are rather simple, nothing you can't uh, tackle. For example, it's, uh, you have to be patient. Now what do I mean by you have to be patient? What does that mean I have to be patient? Well listen, deals don't come along daily, all right? Your first deal, your first transaction might take some time, it might take a few months. So you have to be patient. That's a challenge. That's a, you know, one of the cons. You have to be patient. If you're not patient and you want to close something tomorrow, I'm not sure how you're going to be able to handle this, all right? Because this is about patience. This is about allowing yourself to go out there and uh, what we call prospect. And sometimes prospecting leads to, to leads and leads lead into clients and clients lead to deals and deals lead to escrows, you know, and then closing escrows and commissions. So it all, it's all part of a it part of a, a system. It's all part of a system and you have to be patient. Another challenge is uh, rejection. I almost hate to say that word rejection because nobody likes to be rejected. We all want to be accepted. But in this world of real estate, you're in a brand new world, man. This is a brand new world into where not everybody needs to buy and not everybody needs to sell. And you'll be prospecting complete strangers. Hell, you'll be prospecting sometimes people in your own sphere. It's your sphere of influence. Remember that? And they might say, no, I don't need your help right now. Nope, I don't need your help. Nope, go away. Nope, don't bother me anymore. Rejection, rejection, rejection. I mean, who the hell wants to be rejected? But that's the name of the game. And just understand this, as cliche as it sounds, the more times you get rejected, the closer you are to that one that's going to say, yes, I need your help. Hence, the patience comes in. You have to be patient. Got it? But there is a lot of rejection in this field. It's part of the game. Please learn to accept it. Do not take it personal. And move on to the next one. Again, every rejection means you're one step closer to that one that's going to say, yep, I need your help. All right, now another challenge or con in the real estate field would be that there's a lot of competition out there. I mean, there just is. There's hundreds of thousands of real estate agents in the state of California. There's a lot of competition. But does it matter? I want you to think about that. Does it really matter? Most real estate agents, when they think about getting into real estate, think, why would I join a career where there's hundreds of thousands of them already out there in my state? My answer to that is always because every single real estate agent has their own sphere of influence. You with me? Now the challenge is there's a lot of real estate agents out there. The answer is go after your sphere of influence. We all have one. We talked about this in our past vlog. You have people that you know your family, your friends, 
the areas that you visit often, such as church, such as the clubs you joined, such as the barbecues you attend. These are all people that you want to share your real estate career with and you have to tell them. So the challenge is that there's a lot of real estate agents out there. The solution is you have your own sphere of influence. Please remember that. Another con is that not all transactions go smoothly. A lot of your escrows will be challenging. Not every escrow goes as smooth as silk. You with me? A lot of escrows are challenging. The whole idea is to get to that finish line when you open that damn escrow. As challenging as it may be. Sure, we would like all escrows to close in 30 days. Why not? That's what the contract says. But guess what? Occasionally you'll have something during the escrow that you did not expect to occur. And that's okay. You deal with it. You have your license, you stop, you reason, you attack the situation, and you fix it. You fix it. So not all escrows are smooth. Not all escrows run accordingly. Sometimes it takes uh, 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 some extra effort to keep it intact, and that's okay. Because at the end, at the end of this rainbow, there's a pot of gold. It's got your name written all over it. And that pot of gold, is stamped with the word commission and you've earned it. On that note, another challenge would be, another, another con on the list would be, you'll have to deal sometimes occasionally with challenging people. Now, not all people are the same. Not all people are honky dory and happy and hallelujah. There are some people out there who can be difficult. They're different, personality clash, whether it be your client, whether it be a colleague, another realtor from another agency. That's part of the business. You'll be dealing with people who aren't quite your cup of tea and that's okay. Your job is to keep the escrow intact and represent your client, your principal to the best of your ability. And if that means having to swallow your pride, all you have to do is keep it professional with everybody. Please remember that. If anything you're gonna remember about challenging times and working with challenging people, the best way to deal with that is to keep it professional at all times. And remind yourself why you're in this field. And you're in this field to protect and to help your client, your principal, whether it be the buyer or the seller. Please remember that. Listen, another con, another challenge in this real estate field will be that you do have to work hard. I mean, this flat out, let me be blunt with you, you have to work hard. It's not an easy career, but it isn't rocket science either. This is a field that you get out of it what you put into it. And again, as cliche as that sound, it's the bottom line, right? You do have to work hard. You have to go out there and do some research on properties. You have to meet people, you have to network, you have to be properly trained, you have to be willing to grow professionally because in a sense you will also grow personally, you will grow financially. The whole idea here is to have professional growth, personal growth, financial growth. You wanna grow like crazy. You wanna become a very well-educated real estate agent because it'll prepare you for anything that comes along. It is a difficult, field, but like I said before, anybody who's willing to put forth the effort can very easily create success with this opportunity because that's what it is. It's an opportunity. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the pros and cons of real estate. I know you can do this. This isn't to scare you away. This is to encourage you and to let you know what to expect when you jump into this. It's a beautiful career. It changed my life. It changed my life. And I want you to have that same opportunity that I had. I honestly, truly do.